We have three quantities that we are studying. We have the current I, the voltage U, and the resistance R. The unit of the current is the amperes, the unit of the voltage is the volts, and the unit of the resistance is the ohm. We measure the current by using an ammeter connected in series, we measure the voltage by using a voltmeter connected in parallel, and we use the resistance directly by using an ohmmeter connected in parallel. Now let's see the voltage across different components in case of open circuit and closed circuit. In both cases, voltage across the battery is different than zero because it is the source of electric energy. And in both cases, the voltage across the wire equals zero volt. In case of an open circuit, the voltage across the lamp equals zero because no current is traversing the lamp. In case of a closed circuit, the voltage across the lamp is different than zero because the current is traversing the lamp. In case of an open circuit, the voltage across the open switch is different than zero. It is equal to the voltage across the battery. And in case of closed circuit, the voltage across the closed switch equals zero volt because the closed switch acts as a wire. Let's study some differences between series circuit and parallel circuits. Here we have two resistors, R1 and R2, connected in series. In this case, R1 and R2 are connected in parallel. In a series circuit, the current is unique. That is, the main current is the same current passing through R1 and R2. In case of a parallel circuit, the current is additive. That is, the main current I equals I1 plus I2. In a series circuit, the voltage is additive. The voltage across the battery, UPN equals UR1 plus UR2, while in case of a parallel circuit, the voltage is unique. So UPN, or U across the battery, equals UR1 equals UR2. If you want to find the equivalent resistance in case of a series circuit, then you simply add R1 plus R2, or equivalent equals R1 plus R2. In case of a parallel circuit, you apply the formula 1 over R equivalent equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And if you have only two resistors connected in parallel, then you can use this formula R equivalent equals R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. Here we have two lamps, L1 and L2, connected in series. And in this circuit, we have L1 and L2 connected in parallel. What happens if the two lamps L1 and L2 are identical? In the series circuit, we already know that the current through L1 and L2 is unique. So the same current passes through the two lamps, whether they are identical or not. But moreover, if L1 and L2 are identical, then the voltage across L1 will be equal to the voltage across L2. So UL1 equal UL2 equal the voltage across the battery over 2. And if you have three lamps, then you will divide the voltage across 3. And if you have four lamps, then the voltage across each lamp will be UPN over 4 and so on. In case of a parallel circuit, we already know that the voltage across each lamp is unique. But moreover, if the lamps are identical, then the current also across them is equal. So I1 equal I2 equal the main current over 2. And if you have more than two lamps, three lamps for example, then you divide the main current by 3. What happens if we short circuit the lamp L1? In a series circuit, if we short circuit L1, then UL1 will be zero because the voltage across L1 will be the, uh, equal to the voltage across the wire. It will be zero volts. So L1 will stop functioning. However, L2 will remain functioning because here you have a closed circuit. So L2 continues functioning. Unless the voltage of the battery is much more than the rated voltage of the lamp, then it will burn out. In case of a parallel circuit, if you short circuit L1, then the voltage across L1 will be zero. And because L2 is parallel to L1, then the voltage across L2 will also be zero. In this case, both lamps will stop functioning. Here we have a concept map about the measuring instruments. We have the voltmeter used to measure the voltage, the ammeter to measure the current, and the ohmmeter to measure the resistance directly. Also, we have the oscilloscope that is used to visualize the voltage. We have the multimeter that can 
have many functions. It can function as an ammeter, voltmeter, or ohmmeter. So if you are asked about the mode of functioning of a multimeter, then your answer will be either ammeter, voltmeter, or ohmmeter, depending on what it is measuring. If it's measuring a current, then a meter, a voltage, then it is a voltmeter, or if it's measuring a resistance, then it is an ohmmeter. The ammeter also can function in two modes. It can function in the DC mode or the AC mode, depending on what it is measuring. So if you ask about the mode of functioning of the ammeter, if it's measuring a DC current, then it is in the DC mode. And if it's measuring a, an AC current, it is an AC mode. The same thing is applied for the voltmeter. It has two modes of functioning, the DC and the AC, depending on what it is measuring. If you want to measure a DC voltage by using an oscilloscope, then you will obtain something like that on the screen of the oscilloscope. You will see a constant horizontal straight line. The symbol of the oscilloscope is the phase and the ground. The oscilloscope always reads from the phase to the ground. So if you connect the phase to the positive pole and the ground to the negative pole, and the oscilloscope always reads from the phase to the ground, then the oscilloscope will read UPM, which is positive. So the line will be displaced upward. Y will be positive. In case you put the phase on the negative terminal and the ground on the positive terminal, then the oscilloscope will read U and P. And U and P is negative. That's why the line will be displaced downwards. So you obtain this line downwards. How do you calculate the voltage? We are given that SP equal one volts per division. And from the graph, we can find Y. So this is 1.2.4.5 divisions. We said that each subdivision is 0.2. U equal SV times Y. SV is one volts per division. And Y, in this case, it's positive. So 1.5, the voltage of the battery is 1.5 volts. If you are measuring a negative voltage, then Y will be negative and U will be negative as well.